So, I spent the past week torturing myself with 5 tank M7s, dojo lag, armorless slayers, and solo mini bosses. And why? Well, it's all because of the Pandora's box. Just like in real life, this thing is filled with everything nasty you can think of. But the worst part is that I had to spend 650 mil in two hours. Pandora's box. Lowest spin is 650 mil, so I'll probably just... I don't know how much to pay because I'll be gone for the last minute and no way I want to miss this. I'm thinking I do custom bid. I'm going to do 650 mil. I'm not chancing it. At least me with 900 mil, which is kind of sad, but I really want this. I think I might have overpaid for this. If you look, I'm number one. Whatever. That clip was on Father's Day, so yeah, I actually had to go out and do stuff like bruh. Just kidding. But when I got back, I was met with something very unexpected. Bro, my MVP++ will be gone. Okay guys, now listen, we are so close to a YouTube rank, so just hit the button because then I don't have to buy MVP++ again. Imagine how cool it'll be. Ben Clark just got YouTube rank and I could get it in the same week. Make history. Yes, I have, I can claim it. How much is it? Lowest spin is 605 mil. I overpaid by so much. Oh, it's so beautiful. Crystal Nucleus runs? No. Okay, so first, I don't think we can enrich it or recombobulate it, which kind of sucks. But first challenge, Nuclei Claimer. That sounds really bad, so we're just going to do Intelligent Seeker. Should be pretty easy. Oh, there we go. There we go. Challenge complete Intelligent Seeker. Now I need to do five more commons. One out of 20 challenges done. GG. Um, the ghosts one. That seems pretty easy, not gonna lie. Let's just equip any setup. Not like we're gonna be grinding for a long time. Now, these challenges are pretty easy, but I can definitely wait for, like, the five mages M7 one. That's gonna be terrible. I think we got this in the bag. It should be pretty easy if these ghosts can actually spawn not against the wall. There we go. That was so easy. And we get one health and one strength. That's very, very nice. Oh, every two challenges. So that means this will give 10 health and 10 strength, but we can't recombobulate it and we can't enrich it. Next up, the melee dragon. Oh God, someone here is placing. This is our chance. Just stand on top of here and just melee it. I got 97K. No, how do you do this? You just gotta TP around. I gotta hope and pray that it stops. Please just stop, stop somewhere. I have 800k damage, but I don't know. Yes! I hope I don't have to, like, actually place the eyes for it to work. I hope I can just leech. Third place? No. And I was kind of sweating there. I was outbeat by somebody with a juju short bow. Also, it was during this time that I lost my MVP++, and everybody on my friends list made it known. But guys, with one button, please, please, you know where this is going. Subscribe one button we could have red name imagine that youtube will water prism okay we're gonna need to change up our setup i'm thinking we go werewolf because i think we hit the dragon dps cap okay we'll use three fourths werewolf and a warden helmet i think that that will do the best and if we can't get this again i'll probably just switch my hyperion to a valkyrie now i gotta find the lobby with the lowest amount of people that can leech and i think this is a good place so we're just gonna buy eight summoning eyes such a bad idea Hopefully it's not a young dragon, because that will literally counter my entire setup. Strong dragon. Okay, that's not that bad, I guess. Where is this thing? I have 200k damage on it, and I see somebody with the juju. Hopefully that's not a term. Extra one block range from the claymore is going hard right now. I can hear myself hitting it, even though I'm kind of far away. If I don't get- Oh, I see somebody with the terminator. No, I'm not getting first, and I placed eight eyes. Please just stop. Why would somebody with a Terminator even want this? Go, 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 go. Click as fast as you can. Second place. And I get a Dragon Claw? No. Okay, I'll place eight eyes right here. Okay, another 7.7 .7 mil down the drain. Let me get first place. Protector Dragon. Okay, those are kind of slow, I think. Please, please. First damager, 4.9 mil. But it kind of just broke this entire thing. Oh, an Endstone Protector died at the same time, and now there is no first damager or something. Whatever. Another Dragon Claw, come on. Hey, now we get the Uncommon tier. Nice. Also, yeah, everybody thought I was stupid for doing Dragons Before Diana. Yeah, I kind of was because I did do Dragons Before Diana, but not this time. I was just doing the Pandora's Box Challenge. And we made back 800k. So worth it. 
By the way, my stats, if you're wondering, only 81 ferocity. That's actually kind of bad, but, you know, the claymore range actually carried. What else is easy? Probably the mastery master, which is a terrible name, by the way. Don't know how this is going to work because I won't be able to have the Pandora's box in my inventory, but I guess we'll just put it in my accessory bag and five Skyblock XP. We're actually really close to level 310. So let's just shove everything away in here. I already forgot the challenge. What is it again? Get exactly 320 red points from shooting 10 red targets on Test of Mastery. Luckily, I have S in that, so hopefully I can get this challenge beaten in one try. Gotta do it exactly when they're red. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. This challenge is gonna break me, and it's literally the common challenges. No! I got a yellow again. Yes! I did it! Exactly 320 points. I can leave! Kill me! Yo, what? Finally done with this absurd challenge. Who even made these? Next up, I decided to do the fish up 8 unique trophy fish in under 10 minutes. The last time I had trophy fished was months ago for some skyblock XP, but I quit after I spent 3 hours fishing for a gold volcanic stone fish and couldn't get one. Luckily, I still have a pretty decent rod for trophy fishing. Wait, I don't know if a silver and a bronze count. No way! <laughs> Come on, you know how long I fished for this? Okay, that's kind of funny. And a gusher, that's 3 already. We can go back to using fish bait. We need a sulfur skitter. Sulfur skitter, nice. Oh, fly fish, nice. We've caught six different unique ones so far, and it's been like already five minutes, so we're on pace. We just need a mana ray or a steaming hot flounder from this one, please. Yes! I don't want a trophy fish for another 10 minutes. GG. Now our Pandora's box is rare. Okay, so this one I know you can't do unless it's a mining fiesta. Kill a Void Gloom in under 40 seconds and do 98% of Ash Fang's damage. Actually, something that we can easily do right now is the Void Gloom one. I guess I'll just do RCM. I don't care if it's not meta, it's fun. And as long as I don't skill issue, we should be fine. Okay, let's do this challenge. RCM Enderman, so cursed. I could do melee, but I really could not be bothered to switch in my attack speed and stuff. If this doesn't work, I'll probably have to go back to melee. Even though it's not as fun, it's so much faster. Why is this so slow? I have no arrows! There we go. Another phase skip? GG, guys. Let's just hope that I can do these hits phases fast enough. Oh, well that was easy. Almost first try, 34 seconds RCM. We've done six quests so far, not bad. Okay, I kind of want to do the, the crypts one now. 75 crypts in one dungeon. So I set up to try and find 75 crypts in a single dungeon. An uncommon challenge that somehow took over five hours of my life. 42 crypts, no. 70 crypts, no. I hate this. Is this gonna be the run? No! This is why, guys, we hate Pandora's Box. I would show you all of the other runs, over a hundred probably, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That's too much pain. Finally though, after hours of searching and multiple attempts when I would get 69 plus crypts, I finally got the Orangesus rooms, 91 total crypts giving me the challenge completion. Now, this video is getting pretty long, so I'll just speed run the rest. First off, I did the solo Ashvan killer. However, I failed this two times because of dirty weechers. However, with the help of Future 77, I finally managed to do it, and it didn't take as long as the Crypt one. The tier five Revenant without any armor was even easier, and I didn't even drop below half health. This just shows how overpowered you can get in Skyblock nowadays. After this, I did the no teleport F7 challenge, and I gotta say, whoever made the rooms and designed the parkour absolutely sucks. But despite that, at the end of the day, it was still only an F7, and we completed it on the first try. I do farming prodigy. In the end, I managed to do all but five of the challenges. Pretty good if I do say so myself. And to top it off, I sent it to somebody that had already completed all 20 challenges and got my Pandora's box to Mythic. It's kind of a little cheese, but with that, I have a new Mythic accessory and I can enrich it. Now, for the final thing, how did I get the 650 mil? Well, I may or may not have dropped two dragon pets. 